come it seems like everything in the world can suddenly give you cancer. You know, how every couple years a new health expert study thing comes out and suddenly this new item is suddenly giving us cancer. What, next? I mean, you know, talking about cell phones might be giving us cancer. Everything is giving us cancer. What is up with this? That's all, like, it, it's just interesting to me that suddenly everything is giving us cancer or somehow bad for us in some way, right? Oh, this thing, you need too much of this is bad for you. This is bad for you. Well, duh. Anything in excess is bad for you. Everything that is unhealthy is unhealthy. It sounds dumb when I put it that way because that's really what it comes down to is they're more objectively telling us that we the things we already knew that were bad are more specifically bad. Yet it's a health scare. That's what it comes down to is everything gives you cancer because they want you worried about your health. They want to publicize all this information, get you worried about it so that you buy the latest diet, you do the latest health thing, and have you ever noticed how all these health products and shit cost like twice as much? There's a purpose for it. It's called fear-induced marketing. When you tell the public that everything makes them sick, but your product can help, well, you know, selling medicine to a sick people is an easy job. So, rather than listening to the latest buzz about what will kill you today, I give you a simple piece of health advice that will resound throughout the ages and not be laced with any fear-mongering, which is that moderation, with what you expose yourself to and what you eat and drink is the key to health. Moderation, that's it. You don't want to have an unhealthy lifestyle, don't eat unhealthy food all the time. Moderate that shit with some nice healthy food. Eat a salad or something once in a while, you know? You want to live healthier? Do some exercise. Don't sit there and run 10 miles a day unless that's actually your thing, but get up and do some exercise. Do Be more active than you are right now. You want to not get cancer? Well, you should limit your exposure to chemicals and other such things. Don't live your life in fear of everything in the world being unhealthy for you, though. <laughs> because if you listen to a lot of health studies and that sort of thing, well, everything's suddenly bad for you, it seems, except for these select few items, which are suddenly more expensive. So, I leave you with a simple bit of advice here, which is that not everything gives you cancer, don't listen to all of the fear about health, and simply have moderation in your intake, whether it be of the environment, whether it be of your food, like anything. Just use moderation and common sense and live what feels healthy. It usually will work out. Just something to think about.